Hello, lovelies. We're back again. Um, in this segment, I really wanted um, to talk to Melissa and hear what she had to say about um, stories or things, things that people have done or have, um, you know, helped you or come alongside, maybe in the time that you were at one of the lows, or maybe even now things that they, they can help you as you continue in, in your recovery. Can you think of is there anything that pops out at you about that? Yeah. So um, one of the things is that woman who first shared her, her story mm -hmm. of um, recovery from food, um, obsession and compulsion. And um, that's why I'm doing this today. <laughs> like this stuff scares me. I don't do well with it. But I wanted to like share my story um, and my updated story of of since being a mother and, and going through this with motherhood. Yeah. Um, so sharing our stories. And not always like sharing our journey, but like not always being so negative about our journeys. Yes. So like, yes, I, I had some, I had some behaviors and some thoughts um, and some practices that weren't healthy, that weren't life giving. Um, and, and speaking truth to that, but like, I wasn't bad. I wasn't, wrong. I, I, I try not to, I'm working on, I'm working on and not vilifying myself wow. when I've been in those wow. lows, mm -hmm. right? Cause it's so easy. Like, I don't know how many times I've been somewhere and some woman has like brought up something about something hard they've been through. And, and we just so easily slip into the putting ourselves down while telling our story. And I, I, I know we can do better. Wow. I know that we can tell our stories and, and not put ourselves, our person down, like who we are as people. Yeah. Wow. Um, and, and, um, and the other thing is, um, I'm really careful how I, I share my story. And this was again, taught to me by that person that shared with me. Um, I, I know that everyone's story is different and unique. Um, and there are some common threads that we as, uh, as women, in a Western culture, maybe that we've gone through, um, or, or other cultures too. Um, there's some, you know, some <laughs> cultural norms and stuff, but then also to tell your story and in a way that allows people to connect to different points. And so try to be open with how you, you tell your story. Um, something that some friends of mine did for me that was just so, um, kind and, and wonderful is when I was in my first um, part of recovery and I was trying to eat certain foods, um, a bunch of my friends went um, and they bought like a big box of fresh vegetables and fruit for me. And then they put it on my doorstep and they just wrote a card that said, we love you. And, and I opened the door one morning and there was this, this beautiful, like, groceries and and it was the stuff that I was trying to incorporate more into my life and it was just so so kind and um, doing those things for those friends when they are trying to seek health um and and also to talk about it as health <laughs> not always weight loss yes um when we talk about health we're we're still talking about ourselves as worthy beautiful people yeah. um, the obsession with posting on social media different um, things about waste loss mm -hmm. actually adds to that cycle mm -hmm. before, um, and after, before and after oh the before and afters I, I actually am like very sparingly on Facebook because part of when I was going through my recent um, dark time with my body and shame. Um, one of the things fueling it was, was social media and the images of before and after photos and, um, post baby photos. And I, I want people to feel celebrated. That's, that's not it, but I want also for our language to maybe include more words about healthiness. So one of the things I asked a family member is that was always talking about weight, um, was, can we start talking about, well, you look healthy to, but in that, yeah. um, right? Because, yeah. um, oh, I, I hear you. I, it's so I hard. have some conversations with friends and friends, um, that don't have girls. 
Yes. I'm very careful. We don't comment on each other's bodies and we talk about mm -hmm. that. And when I do, I say, oh, well, you know, your body's strong or mm -hmm. yes. like those yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. So, yeah. Because I didn't want to pass any of this. To no. My kids. And I, I mean, I already see them buying into stereotypes yeah. and I have one daughter who's like super tiny and one daughter that's average and they compare and yes. have people compliment the one that is smaller as if and this is like they eat the same like as yeah. if he's done something yes you know? and it's so much better because yeah and I just was like you know what I had to pull someone aside and just talking about you know um their body and then at the birthday party about the cake and stuff and I just said you know oh, no you have to be really kind because it just yes. it's, you said it comes out naturally and it's actually yeah. a way a really unhealthy way that women connect yes like, it is such an unhealthy way I'd love us to start doing some pause like some positive ways to connect I know and it feels yeah, like, like bragging right if you yes. don't talk like that when other people no right yes I feel like I need to make them feel better about themselves and so then tell a story like that and I'm like yeah 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 it's it's hard it's it's very um you know it's yeah it's having, having girls I'm very oh yeah we're yeah trying, trying our best and we do talk about the you know feeling full and feeling hungry yeah, and yeah. Really, since they were young too yeah I'll say that to to my boys I'm like you know, like they'll say, oh, can I eat this? And I'm like, yeah, how, what is your body saying to you? Yeah. And then sometimes it's, oh, I actually want this other food. Okay, then the, let's grab that. Yeah. And um, one thing we've, we've, I've tried to do um, from, for my boys, being that I have boys and not girls, yeah. is like show them my naked body. Beautiful. Like, I don't, I remember seeing my mother's naked body, um, but there's usually some comments around it. Mm -hmm. um, just she had, she had some, she had three cesareans. Right. And, and, and that really was tough for her and that she, sh she bared that on her body. And so I, I will, I'll walk around like half naked. <laughs> like my boys are right there because I want them to see. And, and my husband um, has always been so kind and generous and loving um, in how he talks about me and how he, you know, like, like it, there's never been any comments that I feel like, oh, the boys shouldn't hear. Like, it's always been very positive. Yeah. Um, and that's, uh, that's one thing I'm really thankful for. I'm so thankful for a spouse that um, understands my journey and understands that I am more than just what size of clothes I am in right now. Um, and like <laughs> the other week, this is why social media, I had to back away. Someone I know had lost a lot of weight on a similar program to what I lost all my weight with. And I said, oh, I should contact them and see how they did it. And da, 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 da. My husband just lovingly looked over and was like, oh, you're going to bring that up to your counselor. Maybe, maybe <laughs> you can talk about that with her. <laughs> and then I looked at him. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Like that's, that's part of the obsess this obsession I have. And I'm actually like in a good place. So another thing um, to, to tell, if, if you are someone who you are really concerned about a friend. Yes. And, th and that, that's a really tricky one because I've had people approach me. Like I had a colleague who approached me about another colleague who was struggling to do their job because of, of their weight. Right. Um, and I, I would say, wait till they bring it up which is so hard. And I, and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a therapist. I'm not trained in this, but I just know that I was already aware. I was already shaming myself, but when I brought it up, that was me trying to find connection. So if a friend brings it up and discloses to you, um, you know, like I'm, I'm really struggling with what I'm eating and I'm eating so much of this and I can't, I'm just shoving food in my face that's when you can enter in the conversation. Yeah. Um, there are great books. There are great podcasts. But the number one thing for me is, has actually been to find a professional to walk through this with me. Yeah. And um, as much as there's so many supportive people in the church, I firmly, firmly believe that they need a background. Yes. 
I love, you know, it's amazing when you can trust your pastor and of course they're, they're there for things, but yes. it, the fine line between yeah. if you're actually, you know, clinically depressed or, yes. or have a, a, you know, a diagnosed eating disorder, you, yeah. you need more than that. You do. Um, and the same with, they shouldn't be, be taking that on. Yeah. I think, I, I think I agree what you're saying. I remember a, a painful story where someone, I gained weight really quickly at this one time and mm -hmm. um, someone had asked me if I was pregnant. <laughs> well, that was crushing, right? Maybe yes. you know that now, but it was yes. really like, yeah, yeah, nine years ago, right? Yeah. But I think I do have a high school story where I would, wouldn't wait mm -hmm. if, if like with anorexia and bulimia, no. my yes. friend with her teeth and her dental, no. I knew yes. I talked to her mom and I yes. lost that friendship for a while. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. I think you'll, you'll know, right? Yes. If you're, yeah. You know, if it's, yeah. So yeah. I just think, especially if you're like a, you know, a teenager watching and, and you don't yes. know, it's like, yeah. I, I told my mom and I told her mom yes. and, Yes. You know, I've talked to her years later and, you know, she said you may have saved. Yeah, totally. Or not. Right? Yes. But yes. I think, but I hear what you're saying with the overeating part. The but overeating. And see, that's my experience is the overeating. But yes, if it's causing like a health concern, like this person is unable to, yeah. to cope. And not seeing it. Yeah. And, and not seeing it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. being so young. Yeah, um, yeah. I just, I, I just thought of that. That was beautiful. that is, that is, yeah. yeah. So, um, I would, I would say that just, just people having people in your life, um, and I know life is busy, but um, if we just share with each other without judgment, and that that's a hard one too. But without judgment and just, oh, okay, that's what you're struggling with. Or and no advice. <laughs> yeah. Unless yes. you ask for it, right? Yes. Like, oh, what do I do here? Then, okay. Yeah. But, and if you don't know, then tell them that you don't know. You know, like in any, in any year, if you, someone comes to you with advice, I had someone recently asked me for advice and I had no idea. Yeah. I don't know, but you know, I, I know that there's people out there that can help you with that. Yeah. yeah that's to give false advice is just it's not helpful <laughs> yeah and find the right community right if you tell someone yeah. and they're uh, it's not helpful and if you might need to take a break from some relationships mm -hmm. while you heal yeah you need to do that and if you yes. you know keep searching to find because sometimes it takes a while to find yeah. your people yes um, but when you do that you know that's really really um, yeah right like you said y your people can remind you too like yes because uh from what as i'm hearing from you and i know from my own story this isn't something that's over and done with um, no no um so the quick fixes the quick fixes um so like my first journey of recovery that was more of an external quick fix like and and now like the deep hard stuff like i like i know this is going to take me a long time this is this is like years of undoing and 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 showing myself the truth it it takes a long time my brain for a long time has been doing one way yeah. and and now it's got to switch tracks and it's kind of do something else and um and it's there's good days and there's bad days yeah yeah well i i I hear you. I, I, it always surprises me how fast I can, I can slip into that and yeah. have people that, that can remind you lovingly and gently is, um, is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is, um, what would you say or what, what, yeah, what would you say to your former self that was struggling or to someone that may be watching right now that is really struggling and, um, you know, it's, it's taking over their life and they're just mm -hmm. really stuck. Uh, what do you, do yeah. you encourage me? What do you, what would you say? Be kind to yourself. Like, like be kind. You're going to have, even, 
like find help find some some professional help but even there's going to be really bad days they're going to be really hard days so be kind to yourself in those days and i'm speaking to others but i'm also speaking to myself like i have to remind myself a lot like like when the kids are all fighting and it's 30 degrees out <laughs> and i'm like feeling anxious and overwhelmed i i have to be like okay okay mosa let's be nice to ourselves what do we need to take our take my emotions from here and bring them on down and and so i've been like in my parenting using some strategies of like naming emotions um cuz uh, one of my triggers for food is feeling um really anxious or or, or like uh, out of control or lacking power and then that's when i would eat and so having children oh it's a great way to work on all of those old uh, trigger points. And so like the other day they were just going crazy and I just felt like, ah, I just want to yell and I just didn't know what to do. And then, then in my head popped the image of, of a food. And I was like, <laughs> I had to say out loud, no, no, mm -mm, I'm not hungry. No, no, no. Melissa, you're okay. You're okay, Melissa. You're just frustrated because they're all yelling and it's hot. It's okay. You don't it's want a, to sit in the you don't, you don't want to sit in the bun. You don't like those. And then and that's that's when I use the water. And I and I um if it's really bad, I, I have started to um do some deep breathing and some centering prayer or some meditation. Yes. If it's if it's a really bad moment. Um, but just like almost talking to myself like that I am I'm outside of myself and oh Melissa no 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 it's okay it's okay the kids will hit each other and they will yell it's okay yeah. you don't have to eat over it yeah yeah, yeah. I, I one of the things that that I've been trying to do for mm -hmm. that is I realized like are you being a good friend to yourself because I think yeah. I don't know I think I can be a pretty good friend and I think I'm encouraging and I think you know, I, I love my friends and yes. I'm fearsome for my friends. And yes. um, I say to myself, would you say this to your friend? And I'll think of a specific mm. thing. And I, if it mortifies me that I would mm. never say that, mm -hmm. I would not be saying that to myself. Right? Yes. Right? If, if I can't be a friend to myself. Yeah. Then, yes. Yeah. So I do that. And, and then being a woman of faith, I try to see myself as, mm -hmm. you know, as Jesus would see me. Now, I'm not there. I'm not, yes. not there, but, but I try, right? I think about oh, how, towards that. Yeah. Like how I see my children, even, you know, when they yeah. can be horrid, I... Yeah. I well, there's still that kid in us, right? We still have that little kid in us. Yeah. And like, we all want to be loved. And yes, yes. Yeah. And we want to be cared for and we want to, we want to feel um, just that, that warmth and that, that goodness given to us and that love. Yeah. And that's, that's what brings me back to God all the time yeah. is like when I'm having those lows and I get this like glimmer of like hope and love, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's God showing up for me. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And I guess I would just love to end this video reiterating the, what you had said before, that you, you needed to know that you were enough, mm -hmm. that your story is important mm -hmm. and it's beautiful and you're not the villain. Um, <laughs> I love that. That was so good because I try to sit, sometimes I separate it and I just, you, you know, you're worthy of getting help and finding mm -hmm and I just you're so brave I yeah thank you so much I just know thank you that, yeah so many people are, are going to be touched and I love that you're brave enough to join me and I adore you and I adore you <laughs> thank you so much thanks Shaylee talk to you soon